All right, everyone, let's get started, and welcome back to Bloodstain Ritual of the Night. So, when last... Wait a second. Hold on. Anyone else feel that? Almost feels like I've done this before. Maybe even... Maybe... Oh, well, never mind. I don't know what that feeling was. Perhaps Editor Me can shed some light on that. But then, if Editor Me sheds some light on that, they... They might also provide a whole bunch of scenes of me getting wrecked playing this game. So, oh wait, that's been Editor Me's goal this whole time. And that time I'm dead. Then I end up surrounded, and that's back. Speaking of shards, speaking of shards, like... Ah, jeez. Okay, that was a predictable death. Okay, I'm out of the room at least. Oh yes, because this is a far, far better scenario. Yeah. Yep, far better scenario. I knew that was going to be a mistake. Okay, well, I deserve that. Should I go back and try? I am reminded. I am reminded of why I hated that hallway in the first place. Not that I needed a reminder. Okay. Whips are not the answer to my problems. Like, if I get stuck in that doorway, I'm just done. Which also means that probably not a whole lot will be happening. I should probably try to avoid dying immediately. That figures. That went much easier than I think my first couple of attempts of killing those things did. And I believe I said something about collecting treasure when I come back here. Well, I'm back here. I'm not on the verge of death. And I'm going to get stuff as long as I'm here. But seriously, though, this is not the first time I've done this. As you can see from the mini-map in the corner there, I did make a little bit more progress before retreating. Because last time I had nothing. I had nothing to my name. This time, I've lined up, thanks to some quests mostly, I've lined up some more decent healing items. And hopefully from here that will let me make more meaningful progress forward through this game. Because let me tell you, but you've already seen the death montage. Let me tell you, trying to get through without any healing items was really not working. It was not working. So hopefully I can do better this time. Yeah. Hopefully I can do better this time. Yep.
All right, hopefully that will keep fine. Out of my way, please and thank you. Doesn't that figure. Anyway, I'm done pussyfooting around, let's say. All right. Well, I mean, I kind of predicted that would happen. I need to find a way to get out of that doorway without getting stuck. Speaking of overuse of magic. Okay, not gonna try and get these bats. There are other bats in this game. Other, there are other bats in this game that I can collect drops from. It is not worth it. Okay, I'm uh, pretty sure abuse of healing items and or of magic is what's called for to get me through this door. Okay, is it worth sticking around to fight them for the sake of whatever they might drop plus completing this quest? I don't know the answer to that question. I do need to kill another Sabnock. Uh, I could use the... Could use the ether. Okay. Abuse of healing items? Check. Now. Now, I get to move on with my life. And finally, into the Garden of Silence. And as soon as I enter the Garden of Silence, I get utterly murdered. Thanks, that's exactly what I wanted to see happen here. Well... I know how much damage they do now. That's a plus, right? All right. Uh, I'm going to sit here and wait for some mana. Talk to you in a couple seconds. All right, that's enough of that. All right. Brutal abuse of my mana bar later. Of course, that guy didn't get hit by my chain abuse of Crawling Gale, but so be it. All right, now maybe this time I cannot get immediately killed by the archer. Okay. I did not get immediately killed by the archer. That is a plus.
Oh my! Oh, you're still alive. See, this is my problem. I can't dodge that by backstepping, which is my usual how do I dodge this. Oh. Oh! I thought he was dead. He flinched. He was dead. He was totally dead. He wasn't dead. Ooh. That's a new one. Oh, if I keep going, I'm going to lose that shard. If I keep going, I'm going to lose that new shard. But if I try to go back, I have to keep going. I have to keep going and trust that this time will be different. And it won't be, but maybe, just maybe. Okay, how much health do those things actually have anyway? Also, I very, very desperately... I don't have enough health to survive an arrow shot. Okay, pretty sure I've made it farther down than I had before. Oh, there you are. No, no, no. Okay, that's one more room down. Oh my, what? Wasn't this room miserable? Also, yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. I could go down from here. Oh, jeez. Archer alert. And this is the wall blocking me from proceeding forward, so I'm not going to bother with that too much. I need more mana, but that's not happening right away. Whoa. Is there a save room above here? No, there is a bookshelf, but no save room. Ah, yes. The dark red moon of doom. We'll worry about that later. Oh, come on. Much needed health max up. Oh, 
Okay, this is not good. Do you mind? Out of my way. Gargoyle's dead. Oh, yes! Yes! Excellent! I love this shard! The shard is great! Now I just need to not die! I was about to say, take one more step for me, please and thank you. I don't even want... Hey, nice. Nice! I didn't regret killing it for once. No chances. No chances. I. Oh, finally! Yes! Alright! We've made it to a new save room with lots of shiny things. And this. It's not even just the save room, although obviously the save room is an excellent bonus. I mean, we won't even talk about how beautiful this room is for farming things, too. Because among all of the other glorious things here... Actually, hold that thought. Because when I killed the little dog, but Gearman, whatever it is. There was three out of four on the quest. Which, it's like, but you have to get back there to use that quest, right? Well, yes. I do have to get back to Arvinville if I want to take advantage of the quest. But... But that's why this room is so much fun! Finally, we found our second warp room, and that means, that means I can go back and not lose all of that progress I have just so gloriously made. All right, things are definitely looking up now. I really want to use the Brigandine, but... I finished... But... I think the pizza is worth it. Hello. Here's what this is. This is right. Thank. Hello. All the more reason for me to go make a new scarf. Here's what this is. This is right. All right, with my latest stop in Arventville out of the way, I've got uh, new items. I've got a lot of gun-related equipment, which makes me wonder if I should be using my guns. But 
Shrug. More importantly, I have more food. Which, I'm gonna wait until I need it before eating it. But of course... But of course, as soon as I do need it, I need to eat it without hesitation because eating it... Actually, that's the one big way that my stats will go up under the current circumstances. And I finally have the teleport room unlocked, which means I can teleport over here and not have to worry about going back through that disaster of a room. I made it over. Of course, after all of my, you know, crowing about how great this is, which it is great. Don't get me wrong. It is very, like, my current situation is a vast, vast improvement over the prior status quo. But there is one downside to this whole situation, and that is... Well... You see... There's a boss coming up. And we all know how much fun I had with the last one of those. <laughs> As always, the nice thing about being close to the save room is that I feel so much more empowered to just go, go nuts. And I can get step back and collect some of these things. I thought there was something there. But I guess not. Okay, now, oh wait, I have officially gotten myself stuck, haven't I? Because I can't get back up, and any of the save rooms are not close by. Actually, that's not true. Yeah, I'm done with this. Ah, it's so nice to have the warp room available to me. Yep, I was kind of feeling like I was about to die. And look at that! I died. My instincts are on point. Except when they're useful instincts, like I should dodge that attack, or um, I give up. You can keep flinging arrows at that stairway all day, friend. I'm not 
I was about to say I'm not coming up there. But then I came just close enough to get hit, so... <sighs> Alright, well... It isn't going to be complete without one round of getting utterly wrecked. All right. Bye, Zangetsu. So, let's get utterly wrecked by Zangetsu. Stop right there. Hello. I am your execution. Did he just one shot me? Oh, this is going to be all demons. So much fun. So much fun. Yes. His sword slash there did 181 points of damage. If his sword slash did 181 points of damage, I have some really bad news. Okay. I guess his different attacks do different amounts of damage then. Which... Okay. Good to know. Yep. 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 Well, and on that note, I think Zangetsu is going to have to come and get dealt with another time. Don't know who's going to deal with him. Probably has to be me, but we'll see how well that goes. Thank you all so much for watching. Some scattered progress has once again been made. And I look forward to taking on Zangetsu next time. Until then.